Hello everyone, this is me Dr. Bharat Kesi and today I'll be giving you certain tips during the examination of the air. You know while we are retracting the pinna, if the person is adult, then we have to retract the pinna backward and outward and the index finger may be used to hold the tragus forward. Okay, but in case of babies who are younger than 12 months, we have to gently pull the outer ear downward and backward. If this step of straightening the meatus accentuates the pain in someone presenting with an earache, then we can be certain about the diagnosis is either a pharyngeal or pharyngeolosis. Okay, so how to hold an otoscope? The best way is to hold like a pen, you know, in this way, the examiners little finger can rest on the patient's cheek and if the patient head moves the position of the ear is speculum is maintained in the meatus okay so uh, in this picture this is the preferred way to hold the otoscope you know when the left ear is examined the otoscope is held in the left hand and vice versa and this is a very incorrect way to hold the otoscope most of the students while they are uh, beginning while they are beginner uh, we see uh, this and this is incorrect way okay we have to hold the otoscope in a pain like fashion and one another point i would like to tell that this is the tympanum okay this is the tympanum and this cauda tympani nerve this knob actually supplies the anterior two third of the tongue excluding the circumvallate papillae this is also the secretomotor knob to the submandibular and sublingual salivary gland. This coda tympanic knob is usually lies behind the pars flaccida. Okay, it is normally invisible as because it, it lies behind the pars flaccida. But when the knob is more inferior, like in this case, which is shown by the arrow, then the coda tympani knob can be visible. Okay, so whenever you are uh, examining the ear. Uh, please notice if you can see some uh, the nerve called a tympani okay so what is the referred ear pain we are examining the drum and the mutis is normal but patient is complaining of earache then this pain is called referred ear pain okay this referred ear pain may be from the nearby structure like the temporomandibular joint okay neck muscles the cervical spine or it also it may also be from the teeth tongue tonsil or larynx the cranial nerves 5 9 and 10 which supply the sides at the respective tympanic and auricular branches supplying the ear the iraq also frequently precedes a bell's palsy okay thank you for watching the video and if you have anything to say please write in the comment box